Only a few among my people can become spirit born. As children, the most promising face judgment in the mist. Our trial begins and ends with pain. Those who are not called are culled. For the weak, all paths end here. For the worthy, that path leads to power beyond compare, and a sacred charge to wield it well. Though the mortal world was designed to break us, our hearts, our minds, our bodies, there is another which makes us bold. We are without fear. We are without equal. We walk with the ancient guardians of the unformed lands. Their power is our power. Their cause is our cause. We forge unbreakable bonds in the spirit realm to defeat the horrors of this one. For we are spirit born. This is how the world I knew ended. By three, they come. By three, thy way opens. And a new one began. It started with Lilith and Inaris, the creators of Sanctuary. They each had their own twisted plans for humanity. Lilith, most of all. Salvation lies not in the light, but in you. Our only hope was a wanderer who'd been fed the demon's blood. This bond with Lilith was the key to unraveling her plans. Others joined the cause. I, Loras, was one of them. So was my old friend Donan and Neral. I wish things had turned out differently for her. We learned that Lilith wanted more than to empower humanity. This key unlocks more than the doors of hell. It unlocks our path to the future. She aimed to devour her father, Mephisto, the Lord of Hatred. He was being reborn in hell. He's still weak, vulnerable. I must strike before he can resist. If Lilith succeeded, we'd all be damned. We had no choice but to follow her into hell. The Angel Inarius and his Cathedral of Light were on the Demon's Trail, too. An army of sheep led by a mad lion. The fool saw it as his destiny to kill Lilith. The heavens do not speak to you anymore. No! Through it all, there was another force tugging on the threads of fate. Mephisto himself. He had sent a herald to help the Wanderer hunt Lilith. Not for our benefit, but to save his own hide. Perhaps he was expecting us to join him. Your lives and those of all humanity depend on what you do next. Choose wisely. Nerel imprisoned Mephisto instead. Doing so also robbed Lilith of the power she so craved. I can't say what went through the demon's mind. Anger, 
Yes, but was there more? Regret? Sadness? With her last breath, she warned us of a dire future. Without me, you would have no victory. Nayrell went off to extinguish Mephisto for good. Her heart was in the right place, but it was a terrible burden to bear alone. Lilith had been cast down, but our battle with Hell had just begun. How I raised you. No, mother. But, but I must carry this burden alone. I must get to Akarat's tomb. But look at you. You're killing yourself. I I don't know how much longer I can. Shh. I'm here, little magpie. <laughs> I missed you so much. I'm so proud of you. But now I need you to give up. No, no, no. Uh, of course it's you. <laughs> uh, you must uh, uh, let go. Let's go. No. You made a choice. And I warned you, little magpie. There would be consequences. Leave her be. She suffered enough already. I will tell you what you wish to know. It started last night with the tolling of the bells. Behold! 
the Reverend Mother Grova and the Burn Knight Yorivar, soul survivors of the battle at Hell's Gate. Today we gather to witness the dawn of a new age. One made possible by the courage and sacrifice of our father Inaris. Yuravar and I have returned from the depths of hell, bearing his message along with the scars of our trials, to show that our devotion has not wavered. In hell, I was cleansed by battle and flame. Doubt and wickedness were burned away. But in the end, I was preserved. May all who serve the light do the same. This man is a mercenary, sworn to the service of the murderer, Laura. She tried to hide the Horadrim girl, Nairel, from our judgment. A girl who threatens us all by carrying a fragment of the very same evil I battled in hell. Do you agree to repent of your sins and walk with us? In the light. I do, I do. Bless you, Reverend Mother. Thank you. In the name of the Holy Father, I swear it. Release him. With all due respect, Reverend Mother, Father Inaris' mercy was great, but did he not also preach justice? Where then was the mercy for Yosef when Lorath slaughtered him? Yurevar. What does it say about the cathedral if we allow such sins to go unpunished? Neither Lorath or the girl have been found. We have gained nothing. So tell me, is she old? Mercy? Or is it justice? Justice! 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 No! No! No, please! I told you everything! I repent it! No! You see? His sins were too great, too deep, and his faith was not strong enough to preserve him. Evil will no longer be tolerated in sanctuary, and we will show the heavens that we are worthy. I'll not have the faithful of Inarius shedding tears for a sinner. I won't say it twice. Where's your decency? Clear off! And you, your Prava's abandoned lapdog. Is that right? What a dismal, faithless existence. That's the problem with you and Horadrim. Such thinking always leads to hubris, and hubris leads to failure. Lorath's no stranger to it. Buried his own brother. Chased away the little one, that brat, Nairel. Only comfort left for him is at the bottom of a bottle. Tread carefully, wanderer. Judgment hungers for you both. And outside the city walls, not even our reverend mother will be able to stay its hand. That sick bastard has probably already sent his zealots after Lorath. He 
old man better still be alive. And there, help me! You there, why do you approach the house of a known heretic? Deny me again, and you will join the condemned sin. I will ask only once more. What do you know of Lorat Nar? I know that he's a recluse and a drunk, but he's not the one burning people alive. Silver words from a sinner's tongue. You will atone! I wish you'd arrived a moment sooner. No. Shin's broken. Legs are dead weight. Where is Lorath? Don't know. I, no one knows. Uh, third time I've come here looking for him. First time I got caught. Brought a message for the old man. We found Nerel. Nerel? Is she safe? A friend of mine is keeping an eye on her. The steelsmith, Raher. Biggest man in Giakul. He'll know where she's gone. Wonder. So many corpses. Always leading to you. And who is this? I am here to seek aid. Haradrim. Lorath. He was profane, yes. But reliable. I see he isn't here. Where is Nerel? As if I'd answer now. Leave, Prava. Your knights are dead already. No sense in joining them. My knights? How poorly do you think of me that I would beat a woman half to death? This was Urivar's doing, not mine. Who is Urivar? What do you know of him? He was just another man, Faith. Another night marching through hell. Nameless, faceless. I never knew what he truly was. Until now, a repentant man prays for forgiveness. And Urivar burns him alive. There is no faith in such an act. No redemption. Only ego. You didn't stop him. No, I didn't. But he's begun a war for the Cathedral's heart. To save every life is to lose the war. I am not your enemy, Wanderer. Not when I gave you my blessing. Not when we shed blood together in the streets of Caldeum. And not now. Your mind is poisoned against me. I see that. But in time, you will accept the truth. All those who serve the light must huddle together. Lest we die alone in the cold. It's no use talking to her. Just go. Find Raher. I'll be fine.